Looking to set up your Xiaomi Range Extender Pro? You've come to the right place, so get yourself and get your box ready. In this tutorial, we will be covering the unboxing and content of the Range Extender Pro, first time installation of the Xiaomi app, the initial setup of the device, and the basic use of the device in the app. Let's get to it. Okay, in the box is simply just the Extender Pro as well as the information booklet. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to install the Xiaomi Home app and we want to do it correctly. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to our iOS store or in this case Play Store. We are going to search for Xiaomi and we can see there at the top Xiaomi Home. So we are going to click on that and we're going to install. Once it's installed, open the app. Now we need to actually create an account so we can say sign in and then we say create account. Now South Africa is correct. We'll put in our email address. Then I've read and agreed. Next. Enter the verification code that you see here. Now you can see I've already created one. So you would need to go and confirm your account. So in order to progress, I'm actually just going to log the account. But if you don't have one, just follow the steps and sign in. Okay, allow while using the app is advantageous because a lot of the products from Xiaomi do rely on geographical data. So it is advised to allow while using the app. You can allow or not allow notifications. In this case, I'm going to allow because if for example, something happened to your router, you'll get a notification or on security cameras, for an example, you will get a notification saying, hey, something's happened. So it is beneficial to allow notifications. Okay, we are officially in and we are ready to get going. Just a couple of things. Note on the top left, you can see their studio. Note that you can go into family management and create additional profiles by pushing the plus over there and create a family group name. We are not gonna do that now. You can also go into Xiaomi's website and further customize your profile. But we are in a profile here, we've called it studio. So for example, I don't live at my studio. I have a different profile for my studio as I do for my actual home address. And we are ready to start adding devices. Okay, first things first, you wanna plug in your device, the Xiaomi Extender Pro. You'll know that it's ready when the orange light is flashing. From there, we wanna open up our Xiaomi Home app. We can immediately see a plus. There's a plus on the top right hand corner. Let's go there and there it is there and let's tap on that okay the first thing it's going to ask you is which network are you trying to extend and the answer is your main network so basically we are trying to take the main network and we are trying to let the device extend that main network hence the name extender so we can see the network device that we connected to on the tablet or cell phone that you're on is already connected to that so we're going to select that one password should already be entered in but if you're not just put in the username and password also make sure that you're extending obviously the correct network and you can see that where the select wi-fi network is on the right hand side so let's go next okay it's connecting to the device and we will see at the bottom we have a pop-up saying xiaomi home will use a temporary wi-fi network to connect to the device we can see what the repeater's name is you can remember that just in case you have to do a manual setup, but we are going to say connect. And we can see we have action. The light has gone blue. However, the app is still busy setting up and it's starting to load. Okay, now we need to select in which room the device is. I just so happen to be in the studio and we will say next. You should be naming it the area in which it's in because it will help you to remember which device to connect to when extending a network. If you've got one in your bedroom, one in your kitchen, one in your lounge, you should be connecting to the one that is closest to you. Remember, this is not a mesh network, so you are going to have to sometimes manually adjust which extender is closest to you. What I'm going to name this is I'm going to name this my Wi-Fi Range Extender Pro, and I'm gonna name it Studio because that's where it is. As added information, even though we selected Studio in the app, we will not be able to see that when selecting the network devices. So when a guest comes or someone else wants to connect that doesn't have the Xiaomi Home app, you'll easily be able to see which device it is. Again, that's why it's important to name it. Okay, you'll get this notification. Do you wanna share this? So it is nice to share this with your family, but we're not gonna do that for now. So we're gonna say, do not share for now. 
but I'm gonna ask it to continue to prompt. Okay, now the first thing that we're gonna see here is Wi-Fi roaming. What this does is it creates an identical network name to your home device. Therefore, it'll actually allow you to quote unquote seamlessly roam around your house without having to worry about switching devices. Note that the handoff from an extender can sometimes be problematic in that it will try hold onto a signal with your phone for as long as possible or a device for as long as possible before handing over to the next device or the stronger device. So just note that if you do select Wi-Fi roaming. Now in order to show you what this actually looks like, let's go into the network devices that I currently have. If I tap on there, we will see the main one and then we'll see the main one with an underscore plus. It's already just said, okay, it's plus. However, if we go back into the app and we say roaming and we go back into the networks, we can see that that dash plus has disappeared, i.e. roaming. So the device has gone orange now. It's just because it's reconfiguring itself into the network. Now, even though it's gone blue, if we refresh our network, we will not have that as a selectable device. Again, this is completely up to you how you want to do this. If you do want to see them individually and be able to connect manually, you can do this. If you do want it to let you roam, you can do that as well. Just play around with both options. If roaming does work for you, obviously that is easier and simpler. However, if you do struggle to find signal at some points by actually changing the device connection and you see that you've got better strength, then maybe roaming is not a good idea. Right underneath that, we have connected device info. If we go into that, it's not gonna have anything because there's no devices connected to it. And that's because, again, this tablet, even though the tablet is actually closer to the extender than it is to the main router, it has selected the main router. So the handoff is a little bit more difficult. However, I want to test something. If I disconnect and reconnect my Wi-Fi, we can see now that it's actually gone to the extender, but we can see that we don't have as good as a signal strength as we did through the main router, which is actually an AX3000 just for interest. So this is what I was meaning when I was saying about Wi-Fi roaming, about maybe keeping them different names so that you know, okay, I wanna to connect to this device and you can change it completely up to you. Now, if you have selected roaming and you wanna get out of that, we are gonna literally just untap that. And we can see the Wi-Fi settings here. We have got the ability to hide the network or not hide the network. Then once we've separated that, we'll go back into our Wi-Fi settings. Now we can see that the plus is back, but I'm connected to my primary router again. So to carry on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to this manually. The password should be the same password that you put in when setting up or the same as your normal home network. It's connected. We go back into the app and we can see here's the connected device that is connected, just gives the MAC address and the IP of the device. Then the last thing that we can go through is the three little dots at the top right. This is the settings menu that allows you to change the device name. You can change the location, share the device, update the firmware. There's also help and feedback or additional settings. So these are all pretty self-explanatory except for additional settings. We can see the plugin version, security settings, network info, legal information, and add to home screen. The last thing here is we have the ability to delete the device. Now note that deleting the device will only delete it from the Xiaomi Home app. If you do wanna reset it in order to set it up somewhere else to a different network, in front of the blue light on the side, there is a reset button. You're gonna need a pin or one of those things that push out a cell phone SIM card. You hold that in for five to 10 seconds and the device will reset. Just make sure that it's obviously plugged in at the time and the light will go from blue to orange. That is it. The first thing we're gonna look at is if the device icon does not appear. If you can see that the device is not showing up, there are a few remedies to this, but first ensure that Bluetooth is on. Some of these Xiaomi devices do put out a Bluetooth signal in order to be found for first time setup. So make sure that your Bluetooth is on and you are close to the device. If that doesn't work, try turning off the device and turning it on again so that it automatically resets. You can also try restarting the application itself. And as a last resort, you can factory reset the device with the ethernet plugged out. Now I'll show you how to do this. At the back of the router, you'll find a small little hole. All you need to do is hold that in. 
However, if none of these methods work, you can start with the first thing going scan code to add. This is the QR code and you'll scan it. It should be on the packaging and on the device itself. Now, this will automatically identify the type of device. If you don't want to do that, you can actually add the device manually and you would scroll down this list, select, we will go in to the routers or gateway or amplifier and we will select which extender it is. So you're not actually missing anything. Basically, it's almost like fast tracking a step where you would go and search for the Wi-Fi signal that this extender is putting out. And then we just carry on. And that's it. You should have successfully set up your device and should be using it capably. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Or hopefully a community member gets there first. Cheers, goodbye.